Okay, now it's time to find the best location for the front power cell. We're installing our 20 circuit kit in this 1979 CJ7. And the 20 circuit kit comes with two power cells, one for the front of your car or truck and one for the rear. And the power cells are the remote fuse and relay boxes. So this front power cell is gonna power your headlights and your high beams and your front turn signals and your front running lights, the cooling fan, the horn, the ignition, the starter. And it's also gonna power the dash. So everything in the front of the car is gonna get power from this front power cell. So you wanna put it as close to those things as possible. The power cells are designed for the extremes of what happens under the hood. They were designed and tested for really high temperatures and all the chemical exposure you'd find here, the mechanical shock, the thermal shock. So it is absolutely okay to put your front power cell under the hood. Now we found a great location right here on this inner fender. It's close to all the things that we need to provide power to. It's a very short run of cable from the battery to power the power cell. And then we can take through the location where the original fuse block was, the CAN cable to go to the master cell and the rear power cell in the back of the Jeep. So this is the best location. We're gonna start fabricating a bracket to mount this power cell right here on this inner fender. Stay tuned and watch for more. We're gonna go mount the rear power cell in the Jeep next.